All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go in and easily create user accounts so um, people can actually use any of the softwares that you have access to. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our QB account. So we're gonna go ahead and log into our QB account. And this is just a, a demo test account I have just to create these training videos and show you guys how to actually do this. And in this demo training video, we only have one software over here that we can create accounts for. It's very possible that you guys have like five or six or 10 or 20 of them. It just depends on how many softwares that you have access to. So in this video, I'm just gonna go in and show you how you can create user accounts through a manual process. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to go in and actually use our API and create all your accounts automatically with our API without having to do anything manually. So to create an account manually, it's very easy. You're literally just going to create, you're going to click on this button right up here that says create user. So we're just going to click on that button. And whenever you qu click on that button, you can see it pops up this form that's right here behind me. Now for this form, there's only that not everything is required. So the person's name is not required. Their email address, since this is how they're going to log into the software, this is going to be required. So we're just gonna put testy, testing at test.com as their email address. And then we are going to pick the extension. Now here we only have access to one extension and it's actually um, this software right here, this ClickFunnels page cloner right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out of this software so you can see how it is to actually create an account. So we're gonna pick ClickFunnels Easy Page Cloner here. And then some you'll notice some of the extensions and some of the softwares actually have multiple different plan levels. For example, this software right here that we're adding the, the user to, this ClickFunnels Easy Page Cloner, it has two different plan levels. It has the starter plan and it has the platinum plan. Now depending on your package and the, and the software, you may only have access to issue the basic plan or you may have access to um, issue the, the platinum plans or the higher level plans. In this example, we actually have access to be able to issue the basic plans and to be able to issue the platinum plans. Now, for you and your account, you may have the same software, but you may only be able to issue the basic plan because you didn't actually buy the upgrade so that you can sell the platinum plan, okay? Uh, if the software doesn't have any plan levels, then this plan level won't be here, so you won't have to pick it. You'll only have to pick the plan level if the software that you're adding the user to has multiple plan levels. So this software does have multiple plan levels. So we're just gonna pick the basic plan here, and I'm gonna actually copy their, I'm gonna copy their email address that I'm adding, and then we're just gonna hit save. Now, once we hit save, you're going to see this extension user has been created successfully. What that means is the user now has an account on the software and we're just going to put in, now by default, all passwords are one, two, three, four, five, six, whenever they're initially created. So once you create the account, you'll need to tell your user because we don't send them any type of notification. We don't send them any type of email that there's account created for them, what their username and password is. You'll need to send them their account information, let them know what their username is, what their password is, where to actually download the extension, and give them a gentle reminder to go in and actually change their password. Now, if you don't know where can they download the extension, you can literally just go to your extension tab here and you can just click on the extension that you wanna know where do they go to download it. And then you'll see right here, there is a button that says view in Chrome store. You can just click on that and that will actually open up the, the extension where they'll go download the actual extension. And you can just click that link right there and you'll be able to actually copy it. And then you can actually just send that to your customer and let them know, hey, here's where you download the extension, okay? So we've just created that user. We're gonna go ahead and put in their email address in here. Sorry, that wasn't their email address. Somewhere we just created that user right here. So we're gonna copy them. And then now we're going to put in their email address there. And we're gonna, again, put in the default password, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to log in. 
and you can see they have access to the software they were able to actually log in no problem okay so now you've successfully created your user account now this user if you remember you can see right here that they're on a basic plan so you can see that they're on the basic plan they're not on the platinum plan so if they try to use any of this it's going to tell them they need to actually upgrade their plan all right you can upgrade their plan if you have access to those upgraded plans if you purchased the ability to be able to sell the high level plans you can upgrade their plan just by coming over here to this actions and whenever you come over here to this actions you can see maybe you can't see because my computer screen is my computer screen is in the way so let's see if we can make it where you can can actually see that but whenever you click on this you'll see you have the option to suspend this user you have the option to delete them you have the option to manage their plan and you have the option to reset their login so if you need to reset their login and reset their password you can just reset their password it will be reset automatically to one two three four five six okay if you if you need to manage their plan just click on manage plan and then this will pop up and you can change them now you can upgrade them to the higher level plan so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to upgrade them to the higher level plan and just click update plan so now once you update your plan their plan they just need to log in and out of the extension so we're going to log out then we're going to log back in as this user and once we log in they no longer need to upgrade so it's no longer telling them that they actually need to upgrade because their account has been upgraded because you upgraded it okay uh, if the user stops paying or they want to cancel their account you can go in and actually suspend their access just by clicking on the actual uh, on the suspend tab and now you can see just looking over here you can you can see their their name we gave them a name you can see their email address we didn't give them any phone number you can see what plan that they're actually on you can see um, who they were created by that was created by you you can see their status there's their status that they're inactive when they were added and here's again your actions where if you want to unsuspend them you can unsuspend them so now what we're going to do is we're just going to actually um, come over here and we're going to log out of this extension so we're going to log out we're going to suspend this user and then we're going to try to log back in and you can see that they're suspended so they can't log in because they're suspended okay if you need to unsuspend them you can just click the unsuspend button and whenever you unsuspend them they can just go in and put in their login information now they can actually log in again all right so now they're logged in now they're logged into the software so now you know how to go in and actually create a user manually I've showed you how to create a user manually I, I've showed you how to go to your extension and how to find the download link just by essentially coming over here to your extensions page so you come over here to your extensions page again you may have multiple extensions because you purchased partner programs and multiple extensions or maybe you got some as a bonus so you're just going to click on the actual extension you need the link for like where do they go download this extension just click on there and you'll see right up here you'll see how many plans they are th there there are for this particular software you're going to see how many users you you've created in this software and you'll be able to actually um, see like our description like what this software is all about and you'll be able to actually just copy the link or click this button to actually open up the link where they can download this actual extension from the Chrome store you'll need this in in your onboarding okay so we showed you all that I showed you how to create a new user and just fill out this information pick the extension pick the plan level if you have access to the plan levels I did let you know that once you create the user we don't do any onboarding for you so we're not going to email your customers you need to let them know hey your account's been created here's your username let them know that their default password is one two three four five six and whenever they log in they should change their password they can easily go into the extension and they can change their password and let them know the URL 
to the extension where they can download it. That way your user is happy, they feel like they got what they paid for, and they continue to pay you month after month after month for the software, okay? So I've showed you how to actually do everything manually. I've showed you how to actually go in and suspend the user, delete the user, and even upgrade and change their plan. Now there's one more thing I want to tell you, and let's say you're actually in here creating a user, you might find this error. So I'm putting in this email address. It's my email address, training at tier5.us. We use it for doing all sorts of different training videos. And I'm going to give this person an account on the software. And you see this error right here. It says user already exists. And you're like, what? User already exists? And you come over here and you look in this list and you, I don't see that user. They don't exist. Where do they exist? If you see that error, and the user is not in your list, what that means is they already have an account on the software from somebody else. They've already bought the software from somebody else, so they already have an account for that specific software, so you can't create them again. All right, so I've showed you how to do everything manually, how to use the QB interface manually, and the next video I'm gonna go in and show you how you can automate this entire process using our APIs, so that you don't actually have to log in and click any buttons.